Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors. It's the holidays, a lot of family and a lot of guests. And since you're the host, what do you do for brunch in the morning? You know, you wanna be in your nightgown, just relaxing. I have a solution for you. I have the most incredible brunch that is gonna turn you into a superstar and your family is gonna love you for it. We all have a lot of eggnog left over in our refrigerator. What do you do with it all? I have a great idea. It's called our eggnog French toast casserole and you can even make it in your nightgown. I have five ingredients for our eggnog French toast casserole. We have six eggs, two and a half cups of eggnog, a little bit of nutmeg, and a little bit of cinnamon. That's it. Oh, and of course our brioche bread. All right, so I'm gonna slice our brioche into nice thick slices here. And then I'm gonna lay it in our casserole dish and add the eggs and the eggnog. I'm gonna whisk my eggs. And to that, I'm gonna add my eggnog, two and a half cups. All right, and then I'm gonna throw in my spices, a little cinnamon, a little nutmeg, stir again. All right, now this just gets put over our brioche bread. And then I'm gonna let this sit and soak into the bread. So you can go make a cup of coffee, read your emails, and by the time you do that, it'll be ready to go in the oven. So our French toast goes in the oven for about 45 minutes until it's puffed and golden brown. Our French toast is ready. It took about 45 minutes at 350 degrees and it should be nice and golden and puffed. Let's look. Mm. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. All right, now here's the key to this maple glazed bacon. It is baked, okay? No splatter, no mess. I have a pan here with a rack inside of it and I put foil here so that the grease from the bacon goes right on our foil and then it's like the simplest of cleanups. So first, I have my bacon and I just put it on the rack. All right, so this goes in the oven for five minutes until the end starts to curl. Then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna brush it with our maple Dijon glaze. All right, my bacon is ready to be glazed. Oh, look, you can see. The ends just started to curl, just starting cooking. This is maple syrup mixed with Dijon mustard. Brushed all over my bacon. Now I'm gonna turn all this over and I'm gonna brush the other side. All right, now I'm gonna put these back in the oven until they're crisp and golden brown. Look at my brunch spread. I'm so proud of myself and you will be too. I can't wait to try it. Our bacon is so crispy. I need more than two. I'm gonna put three on my plate. And let me dig in here and get some French toast. Mmm. Delish. Okay, now you may want some maple syrup on this. I just macerated some berries or just added a little sugar to some raspberries and blueberries. Pretty. And it makes its own syrup here. I wish you a happy holiday. This is Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors.